New project today. Diesel heater remote, ESP32, and a 433 megahertz radio. In this video, we're going to try and put all the fun tools to use. The HackRF software defined radio to hack our diesel heater remote and try and make this controllable from Home Assistant. We'll see if we can write some code for the ESP32, use a 433 megahertz radio, and with any luck, at the end of all of this, we will have a functional repeater and controller to allow us to control the diesel heater from Home Assistant on my Raspberry Pi. Pretty cool, should be fun. Okay, this is working. 433909. If I do anything on the heater, it should wake up and start yapping. Okay, that's pairing mode. And it doesn't send a thing. If it does, it's incredibly, f no, that's not this thing. It doesn't send a thing, but it relies on the remote, which makes sense. It pairs to the remote. And if I hit any button, it's paired, and now it's yapping away. And I can see the same on the HackRF. I couldn't record it for some reason. I think my rate's too high. Let's try 100K. Let's record it. And let's try turning it on. Okay, that's on. Let's back off. And let's hit stop on the recording. And let's play it back. Okay, figured out how to do the replay on the HackRF now. You've got to go to open file and then scroll all the way down and here's where it's storing my files in the main directory and these are all the ones I've captured today. That's why I'm getting file opens. This most recent one I captured, I did a power on and then I did a power off. And if we play this back at 433.8 megahertz, that should do. This should in theory turn on the heater and then turn it back off again. Let's see. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCB Way. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. And let's replay. There's the commands, and the heater responds. Perfect. Now it should turn back off again, because that's what I did. Perfect. Okay, we have a good capture here that we can decode and see what it's saying. There should be an address in there. Uh, for some reason, my other tool isn't doing its thing, but I am going to... I don't know what I'm going to do.